You hear that? I, I know you can hear that. Yeah, I'm not showing it to you yet because I don't I want you to feel the anticipation. That's right, guys. Family-friendly Leon Lush fidget spinner videos are the only thing you're going to be getting from the Leon Lush channel from here on out. I officially got whacked by the demonetization sniper. Demon demon demonetization sniper that's been picking people off for months. Finally found my location. Fucking headshot. <laughs> Anywho, I wrote a little ditty to help properly convey how emotionally jarring this whole experience has been. So, uh, camera switch. <laughs> how you doing? Let's do this. Ah. Yeah, yeah. When I try my best to make money. But I constantly swear and abuse my monkey When I'm finally getting views and it feels so sweet Oh yeah, it's so sweet You demonetize me <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up the last note Hello everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Leon Lush and as always I am much obliged to have you here with me. A little bit of a different uh, format today. I'm getting ready to go away for the weekend for the next three days. One of my best friends from college is getting married so the wife and I are traveling to upstate New York and we're gonna have a nice, a nice time. Just a nice little relaxing few days. But I'm leaving early in the morning so I don't have time to do any uh, extensive editing. So I just wanted to chat real quick, just uh, just me and you hanging out for a minute or two, real quick. Probably going to be less than 10 minutes, this video, which is very unlush-like, and I'm not proud about it. Little editor's note here, turns out the video ended up being just over 10 minutes, simply tremendous. Be sure to scroll down and leave a comment about the length of the video, and I'll be sure to fly to your house and sodomize you with a wooden serving spoon. Because YouTube sure as fuck isn't going to promote the video, I mean, they'll demonetize the shit out of it. But if it's under 10 minutes, fuck off. You're not getting any recommendations because you're not keeping people on the site. You're not building your watch time. How fucking dare you upload a four and a half minute video? Piece of dog shit. So this YouTube demonetization thing is old news. Kind of been beaten like a, a dead horse uh, since last March when the adpocalypse happened and all these creators have been getting fucked over. Uh, but more recently, in the past month or two, uh, they've been rolling out this new update where on your videos page, you now have uh, a yellow money icon instead of a green one on videos that are running limited or no ads because uh, the content is not deemed advertiser friendly. Now, your boy Leon had been skirting under the radar for the past two to three months. I've been seeing people getting fucking pickow, pickow. Pew, pew, pew. Picked the fuck off by YouTube left and right, just pages upon pages of videos being deemed unsafe for advertising and running limited to no ads. So after months of frolicking around carefree with no yellow dollar signs in sight on my video page, I finally got nabbed pretty hard today with uh, a pretty massive demonetization through my whole catalog of videos. Now, I'm not making this video uh, to complain at all. I, you know what I mean? This is just kind of how life goes. And I feel like there's also a little bit of a sense of entitlement on YouTube where people think that they should be able to just make and upload whatever the fuck they want, no matter what it is, and automatically they should get paid for having advertisements on it. Like, that, you have to understand, like, getting paid to make shit posts on the internet is a fucking luxury. Now, I don't want people to get upset because it's like, oh, Leon, well, you don't do YouTube full time. Like, you don't know like that. You're absolutely right. I don't. And I do. I genuinely, I genuinely feel for and my heart goes out to people that are YouTube, that are YouTubers full time, especially those on the newer side of being a full time YouTuber that, you know, aren't making fucking Logan Paul 500 to a million dollars a month money. People that are just you know, paying their bills, kind of scraping by as a full-time YouTuber, doing what they love, making a living. 
They're the people I feel for the most. I think they got hit the hardest. But of course, anyone across the board, whether you're very successful, whether you're, you know, Max Mofo or iDubs, uh, nobody likes to have their fucking means of income just overnight shut down because of some bullshit. But the problem is that YouTube has full proprietorship of what they do. That's, uh, that's probably not the right word. I don't know. They have full control over what the fuck they do and what changes they make. And if they think this is the best thing for them, for them trying to turn a profit with their advertisers, I mean, we just, there's nothing, we, we, we have no other choice but to fucking play along. So sure, I like to joke around about how devastating, oh my God, I'm devastated. Uh. It is to have you know, all your videos basically demonetized and it does suck, but I'm fully aware of how blessed and fortunate I am to be able to make any money at all from making fucking weird videos on the internet. It's crazy. But more than that, I feel very fortunate to have an audience of people that watch the videos that I make and enjoy them and give me feedback and fuck around with me in the comments, whether it's a song or a commentary video. That to me is the most uh, exciting part of, of YouTube is the community that surrounds channels, people building communities around their channel and their content. And it's just a place for people to go to fucking stop thinking about the fucked up world that we live in for a couple of minutes for a video and just have a laugh or whatever the fuck. And then post a shit comment in the comment section. It's just part of our everyday life. And it's, uh, I don't take that for granted. So I don't think YouTube will ever go back to the way that it was the 2011 through 2016 that was like the golden era of youtube you could make whatever the fuck you wanted to man you could upload videos of you and your sister eating a shit sandwich and kissing afterwards and full ads fucking two million views make five grand whatever those days are gone so now we have to improvise we have to be creative this to me is feels like a little bit of a challenge i mean is, if any of you have watched my videos you know that uh I like to subliminally add in dildos occasionally for whatever fucking reason. I did it one time when I was first making videos like a year ago and I just never stopped. And it's just a great, great joy for me, which is a problem. But uh, now it's just, it's just a game of how inappropriate can I be while tricking YouTube's algorithm into thinking I'm actually being appropriate. Bring it on, fuck face. I mean, bring it on, YouTube. You fuck face. Certainly, if nothing else, uh, this is a huge landscape change for YouTube uh, and a little bit of a thinning of the herd, if you will. You know, people, a lot of people that were maybe doing YouTube full time may have to go back and get normal jobs or whatever. I don't like to call them normal. What is a normal job anymore? But get jobs outside of YouTube to support themselves. And that's just kind of how it fucking is. And yeah, it sucks. But it's reality, man. Life fucking sucks. And reality sucks. And it's really just about how you can adapt to changes and fucking make it work in the face of adversity. And that's probably the gayest shit I've ever said, but it's kind of true. So that's really it. You guys, the YouTube landscape is changing and everyone losing advertising on their videos kind of blows, but we'll make do. We'll figure it out. And if that means fucking, I, who knows where YouTube's going to be in a year, three years, five years, maybe it will get better. Maybe YouTube won't even exist in five years. That is the uh, privilege you get when you're trying to be some sort of entertainer or creator and try and make a living out of it. You get no guarantees. No guarantees come along with that. But no guarantees come along with a regular job either. You could fucking work for a Fortune 500 company and they have to downsize and you get fired after 20 years with no pension. Life has no motherfucking guarantees. So with my channel performing pretty well recently and some of my videos that I've uploaded doing really, really well, better than my channel's ever done in the past, uh, I've kind of gotten this newfound anxiety over you know, changing up the format and trying out new shit because I want to continue to do what works, but I hate that idea of getting pigeonholed into one thing because YouTube likes it. I want there to be some fucking mono -y mono time, a little me and you, a little conversation. Doesn't always have to be about Danielle Bregoli and fucking stupid dumb Instagram sluts that shouldn't be comedians and stuff, but, uh, Anyways, I, whatever. So here's this video and that's fucking it. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I know some of you will watch this and appreciate it. And I know others of you will be like, Leon, you fucking talk too much. This video was so boring. If you're one of those people, I uh, kindly suggest that you just 
uh, take my ball bag and place it ever so gently on the bridge of your nose and uh, then f*** yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Nigel, any last words? Just kidding. No Nigel in this bitch. Fuck off, boy. Views, 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 views